Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. In this video, we're going to be upgrading a church's computer from an Intel system to a Ryzen system to get better performance on their live stream. So let's go. Hey, the CEO here. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So this is a church that I think I did a video about. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I did it or not. I think I might not have. But this is Shiloh Baptist Church in Ashland, Virginia. And they reached out to me and I did a consultation with them and helped them out with some stuff. And then looking over their system, they had an Intel i5, an older system, that they were saying they were having some performance issues with the system when it comes to live streaming. So I suggested looking at the system, um, some suggestions to upgrade the system, which was going with a Ryzen 3 3200G or 3400G. And there's an ambulance driving by or a police car going by. Fire truck, actually. Um, and a from the size of the system, it looked like it was a micro ATX board and they wanted to get more performance out of it without having to break the bank and buy a new computer. So I suggested the parts to upgrade it. So that's what we're gonna walk through in the process. I have it set up over here on my table. So I have plenty of space. Let me put my shoes on here so I can be more comfortable and we won't have no electric um, static discharge or nothing like that. Um, so let's go ahead and cut over and look, well actually, let me get the parts and let's go through that first. All right, so we have the Ryzen. 3200G, 16 gigabytes of memory, and our classic DS3H gigabyte motherboard. Um, again, I would have gone with the 550 because that just came out, but these are kind of, um, for whatever reason, there's a shortage of computer parts going on. So thankfully he was able to get this and everything came in. So. The first thing I need to do is actually get inside the system and back this up as best as possible to avoid any type of having to reinstall Windows all over again. But while we're doing that, let me get my iFixit toolkit. Love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And hopefully we won't have to do much. So right now, this is running an i5-7400 um, Intel processor, 12 gigs of memory, DDR4, one terabyte hard drive, um, 128 gigabyte solid state hard drive, and an Intel HD graphics 630 with a whole bunch of bells and whistles, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all this other fun stuff in it. So I think we're going to get a lot more performance out of this, which is going to be cool. So the good thing is we should be able to maintain our hard drives. All of this stuff inside of here we'll be able to keep. Um, we shouldn't have to change out the power. We're going to get more adapter space because ultimately they're going to go with putting a um, Decklink um, mini recorder for a capture card inside of this. So just pretty much preparing for the future. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hook this up to my computer here. And what we need to do is first thing to hopefully maintain everything to where we don't have to reactivate and all this other fun stuff is mainly to come in here and we're gonna remove all of the motherboard drivers and all this other stuff. So when we migrate it over, everything should work in theory. All right, so Let's commence some surgery in here. Let's remove our power. And the fact that we're not adding anything new, we don't have to worry about it drawing more power, but now that I think about it, we might have to, man, who did this? Um, might have to get another power supply if this one does not fit. 
for what we have on our motherboard. And we can pretty much keep all this stuff in place. SATA connector. That's going to that's going to the SSD. Have another one that's going to the regular one terabyte drive. And then we got another one here that is going to our optical drive. So our front panel connectors are a little bit different. WAN, we're not using, so we gotta undo that. Now this has two USB 3.0 connectors. So one of these has to take priority unless we get another adapter. Here's the other 3.0 which is the front mounted one. We're probably going to use that one. It's a Wi-Fi card. We may be able to use that. This is front USB. That's weird. This is our front audio. This is also our front panel for buttons. So we might have to break that off. Because worst case scenario, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to just go and get a, another case, um, which is not that big of a deal as long as stores here have them in stock so let's go ahead and just remove this and that's giving me a time so let's try that and I guess this is the disadvantage of proprietary to proprietary type of motherboards that they they do different stuff so we have to work within the confines of that or like I said ultimately we could just get another case from like Best Buy or something like that and if we need to do that um, hopefully we wouldn't have to get another power supply too, but we might have to. I think when I do stuff like this, I try not to charge more than I have to because they already bought all the parts. And doing this whole process really does not take very long. In worst case scenario, I actually already have another case at my church, so I could always migrate my church's system to the bigger case that's sitting there, and then take the Cooler Master case that I did a review on and give them this one. So. Always have some contingency plans just in case. All right, so now let's take out this Wi Fi card. And they zip tied that to the power supply. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so 
there we go. It lifts right up. Now we want to keep this just in case. Well, first off, let's just see. Will this fit inside of here? Yes, it will. Let's knock this IO shield out. And let's set this aside so we can put the at least the processor in here because we need to take these guards off. And please don't laugh at my feet. And this is honestly a very easy upgrade to do. Let's get our new processor here. I'm not going to do no thermal grease. Even though I have it, I'm just going to use the one that's already applied here. There we go. Get our fan. opposite directions to get everything mounted here. Alright. And we will need to get a new power supply. Ugh. So let's go ahead and get all this put in place and then we're going to have to go to the store. Good thing uh, Best Buy is not too far away. I don't know if they're still doing um, curbside pickup. I'd rather just walk inside and get what I need. That'll be faster, but we shall see. So we're going from 12 gigabytes of memory to 16. That's cool. And that's all that. Don't need that. We don't need this. this aside. Let's get the new IO shield and place that in here. And definitely need to get a new power supply. Set 
the new motherboard and stuff in here. Line everything up. And there we go. Let's use the same screws we had and then we got to make ourselves take a little trip. And again, I can't sing the praises of this I fix a kit more than anything. It's all magnetized, so I don't have to worry about this stuff falling all over the place. All right, so, and this is a slim drive. So that might not work either. So the idea is we want to keep this power here. So we need, so even if I got a new case, I would also have to get a new drive, which I'm not too excited about doing that. I mean, technically, I guess I could take a drive from the computer at church. I have another computer just sitting there that I, have, I can use as extra parts if you need it. But let's see. All right, so here's our audio right there. This Wi-Fi stuff, I'm going to have to do something with that. Probably going to have to remove that later. And let's go ahead and pull this power supply out because it's not going to work. We have to replace it anyway. And this was exactly the piece I put up. Now, I do have this 4K video editing system that um, we're giving away to the Facebook For Me Media Ministry group. I could take that power supply and just order another one. That would be the easiest thing to do because I already got it here. But, I don't know. Okay, that's a proprietary plug. That's not a regular power cable. So the more and more I look at it, I might have to replace this whole case and all that stuff, which I'm not very much excited about and why. Are you zip tying this down to here? So you got it taped and you have it zip tied. Uh, all right, let's see. It's such a thin cable that I don't want to risk cutting it. I don't like stuff like this. Well, maybe I can just slide it through. Hopefully I can just slide it through. Yep. All right, that's good. All right, so power is gone. We need a new power supply. This Wi-Fi adapter, honestly, I'm gonna find the, ex cables and probably completely remove it. So with all that, let's see. That should be the front there. This drive is not going to work from a power standpoint. There's our USB-C. I don't know what this is. Looks like USB. So we'll just try this right here and we'll come and adjust that later. 
Then we have our other SATA connectors here. All right, so this is the drive. Connect that here. Then we got our others. And honestly, the order does not matter. All right. So that's there. And like I said, we need to get a new power supply. And possibly... a new drive here. I don't know why they got that type of drive in there. I don't know. It could be they don't even use it. So I might not even need to replace the drive and that would just not be functioning there anymore. So let's actually go and ask them if they do use that. All right, folks, so we hit a little bit of a snafu. It's almost impossible to find a power supply here in the stores. So what I ended up doing is taking out the power supply from the 4K um, giveaway PC, and I ordered another one um, next day from Newegg. So that way I can get them this computer back today um, for church on Sunday and then the 4k giveaway we're gonna be hitting 20,000 um, probably this weekend if not earlier so the new power supply will be here tomorrow so um, that's not a problem I want to make sure I can get this computer back to them so that everything will be they don't have to change up their plans for church on Sunday all right so we have all the connectors here and I talked to them as well. They were not even aware <laughs> that there was a disk drive in this computer. So the fact that we don't have a connection to hook it up is not a problem. So let's make sure we can get our power seated in here. And my head is in the way. Yep, alrighty, so now Let's go ahead and lock this in place. And then I need to find some extra IO shields because um, I just talked to, with the pastor and he did not order a Decklink mini recorder 4K. So he's going to be ordering that and we have plenty of space. So technically, I really don't need an IO shield because um, the one once that card comes in, it's going to replace the open one that we got. I normally have a bunch of these IO shields all over the place, but in my process of moving, I have no idea where that stuff is easily to get to. So, all right, so let's get a lot of these cables out of the way. And this is how I had this in the 4K video editing system. Probably still not going to need these adapters. So we're probably going to zip tie a lot more. Like I know we don't need this PCIe because there's no dedicated graphics card in here. We're using the one that's on the APU. So let's check this again. Yep, PCIe, we don't need this. Then everything else we do. Let's go ahead and zip tie this up here. And hopefully there's enough space up under here so we can drop this over here. It's a little bay here that I'm gonna drop these cables here so it's up and out of the way. All right, so this 
is not going to be needed because they're not using a drive. So let's up and get this out of here. All right, so we got a lot of extra cable here. And let's just run this so it's up and out of the way. Run this up under here. Then we got our power. All right, and then this is what the other one was missing. We needed a four piece for a four connector for our motherboard. Let's run this under here. Um, I don't like how that's going. Let's run this up under here, or maybe we could just run it around the perimeter. I want to get some zip ties to hold this in place. All right, so that's good. And we'll probably zip tie this down here so it's up and out of the way. Probably could zip tie this together with this like place it here or something like that all right now we have our power for our drives one and two now i might have to move this because these are sticking up Might be in the way of trying to close the case. All right, so something like that. And it's looking like it might be a tad bit in a way, but I think we're good. Let's go ahead and I need to find another zip tie so I can put this up and out of the way. But we'll we'll play around with that a little bit more. So there's not going to be any type of Wi-Fi adapter here. Our CPU fan is plugged in. Let's plug in this fan into the motherboard. place our IO shields up because this one is where the deck link is going to go so that would be in this slot so let's put this one here this one here so we have an open one for right now let's go ahead and place this back in place All right, so we have switched from an Intel i5 to a Ryzen 3 3200G. So now let's go ahead and connect everything up and make sure everything turns on. And I need to download the drivers, obviously, since this um, drive is not working now, since we're not plugging it in, so that we can get everything up and running. All right, so I didn't get a chance to close out the video um, like I wanted to, but the transfer went fine. Um, had a little back and forth because we had to catch up with the administrator, the user who had the administrator account on the computer so that we can install all the drivers and remove all of the old Intel stuff, but everything is working. I'm actually here at the church waiting for the pastor to be here so we can install the computer and it really didn't take that long so um once the admin is there they need to reactivate windows i don't have permissions to do that because it's trying to say like it's something completely different they need to log into the account and say that this is the same system but besides that 
everything is good. Um, actually performs a lot faster than the original. Um, I actually already had OBS set up and everything like that. So at this point, the only thing they need to do is get their capture device and then everything is going to be set. And I know they're going to call me back for that. And um, I think they're going to be happy with the performance on how the system is. Um, and I also ordered another power supply, like I think I was saying, from New Egg. So that should be here tomorrow for the 4K giveaway PC. So um, I think he just sent me a message too that he wants to meet at six o'clock. So I got 30 minutes. So I'm going to go get something to eat. But that's about it. So if you have a system, um, you got to be careful with what you have inside of there. So um, in a scale of one to five in difficulty, I would honestly say this is a three only from making sure that you get the right parts. Um, but besides that, I think they'll be happy with this. Anybody could do this, um, but it's not really anything very taxing to do. And they're going to get a lot more horsepower out of the system compared to what they did. So I uh, shallow Baptist Church. I hope you enjoy your pretty much <laughs> upgraded system. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And thank you again to patrons who allowed me to make this video. Uh, it's with their continued support. We're able to do awesome stuff like this and to get extra parts <laughs> that we might need to fix up projects to help up other mini media ministries all over the world. Um, their names are listed below. So again, thank you. And you can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Um, and link is in the description how to do that. So again, thank y'all so much. And we will see you on the next video later.